momentarily why I wanted to start that way, only you can. Uh, for now, let's talk about flow states. Flow is a state of consciousness in which we experience total immersion in an activity to the extent that we experience selflessness, timelessness, effortlessness, and sense of richness. It is the experience of being in the zone, as reported by musicians, athletes, artists, scientists, on and on, across disciplines. So I have several exciting ideas and tools to share with you that I think you uh, that I think will expand your mind and also some tools that you can implement into your own life. So the future of creativity is through flow, but there's a caveat to all this, which well, I will share momentarily. For me, one such experience was when I first started playing guitar. I was taking a French class in high school, and we were assigned to write a song about baking a cake, you know, the French and their baked goods. So, <clears throat> one evening, I run downstairs to play it for my parents, share it with them, and I throw my leg up on the kitchen table chair. I have my tiny beginner's guitar, and I quarter as a guitar pick, and I begin strumming away. And after a few moments of playing, singing this ridiculous song, First we mix the dough, and then we crack an egg. I was, I was moved. I was very moved by this experience. And so funnily enough, this microdose of a flow state was enough to inspire me to pursue music for the rest of my life. So I pose the question to you. What may have been an experience where you felt so completely immersed in an activity that you may have forgotten a sense of self? You may have forgotten the time. You may have felt as if you were hardly exerting any effort or reactivity. Consider how this experience may have impacted or transformed your life. In 1990, Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi published the book, Flow, the Psychology of Optimal Experience. In this book, he discusses the research and studies that have gone on in flow states across disciplines, and he discovered some parameters required for entering flow states. So these include having clear goals, and you think of the composer sitting down with a blank score. If the composer has specific intentions for composing this piece of music, it would be much easier than going into it with a completely blank mind. Secondly, immediate feedback. You think about a basketball player shooting foul shots. He has the immediate feedback of seeing the ball go through the hoop and his immediate feedback is to tell whether or not he's achieving his desired result. Thirdly, one's skill set has to match one's level of challenge. So if you think about a world-class chess player playing against a beginner, there's a disparity there, and <clears throat> it's not going to be a difficult challenge enough for the world-class chess player to enter into a flow state. Now the last parameter I'd like to share with you, there are more, but the last one I'll share with you is chaos. How many of us experience chaos in our lives? Okay, it looks like about everyone. If you didn't raise your hand, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> so me too. It's a natural part of our experience. Fortunately for us, Csikszentmihalyi High terms this psychic entropy, and this, he says, is a precursor to entering into flow states. Psychic entropy produces order in consciousness. One needs to have an orderly mind in order to enter into flow states. 